Good night, good night, good night. Wednesday, 25th of September, 2024. Got uh, 80 conversations today. Going really quickly tonight. Rest is required. I'd like to just basically our dashboard is used to track our conversations here. Mm -hmm. I think it help with the visual what actually goes with the day. So yeah, started 445 again. Had Sean from Antigua in Bermuda. He's in between, he said. Really is. Great conversation. Human resources guy. Amazing. I think tonight what I will do is just simply go through the names really quickly. Um, yes, I had him. And then Scott Roberts. Yeah, remember the conversation I had with him when he was, you know, married, but in a different, in like in the US. And, you know, it was exciting because he got to, he's moved to Canada with his wife. Now you can see that picture there, happy guy. Then I had Amir Ben Salmi, the Ben Salmi family. Wow. Huh. Amazing children. Super amazing children. Uh, just phenomenal. Like the things they've accomplished, the things they do. It's just amazing. And uh, then I had Chris. Chris is in Silicon Valley. Chris expressed uh, his change of heart in terms of what he's doing, you know, being the person who's had multiple businesses he wants to leave a legacy uh, master podcaster to started all the way 2005 chris then when i was speaking with chris i knew i had nathan next and i met nathan in orlando and yeah nathan is definitely an entrepreneur serial entrepreneur but i thought of him now Nathan is the younger guy right here and it's it's intriguing, right? Like we're young guys and we we're going for the gold and we want to achieve things and you know the sky's the limit. So it was just intriguing to hear Chris speak about um, you know, what he's doing and leaving a legacy and you know taking his time a bit now. It just made me wonder, you know, like, are we, are we lacking mentorship so that we aren't making the same mistakes that the people that went before us did? So that was, that was cool. Yasmin Ben Salmi, which is the sister of Amir, um, her dream is to, in fact, yeah, it is a dream, but she's definitely in, in, in the, in the track of, of succeeding for what she's about to do, yeah? Uh, which she wants to be a plastic surgeon. She's already identified uh, where she wants to go. Uh, just a remarkable young lady, 17 years old. The first time I interviewed her, she was 11 years old, I believe. It's just amazing what she's doing. I have Kevin Young, met Kevin Young in Chicago. And you, that look right there is what represents Kevin. He is all into listening, yeah? Uh, really great conversation. He always asks some really great questions. I appreciate you, Kevin. Uh, and of course, your wife, Suzanne. And of course, your granola bars, which, you know, I think you could make a fortune if you just sold that recipe. <laughs> and then I had Wise Gazette, uh, the Bajan who moved to Brooklyn. Wise has a ton of podcasts you know, that he manages. He lives and breathes podcasting. Uh, and that this is just a super summarized thing. When the episodes release, you can listen to them. I have the episodes number as 124 and then the number that it fits in, which is 3,948. That's ultimately what the episode number is going to be. Uh, this is just me counting as I'm going how many I've had in this season. 
then I had Trisha Brooke, Trisha Brooke who was at Space for Speakers. Uh, I guess it was a run in New York, you know, because like I, so Wise is in New York and then Trisha is in New York. But yeah, Trisha, yeah, so just, you know, holding a space for humanity. That's the theme that came about, yeah. She's holding a space for humanity. A very interesting conversation based on slowing things down as a speaker coach. Um, slowing things down, not needing to be in a rush to figure out what you speak on. And that, that was very uh, connected to a ton of uh, conversations I had before. Uh, I'd say a ton of conversations and I'd, I'd like to connect that later on as well. Keep in mind the ton of conversations I always talk about, right? So anyway, Trisha had we had that conversation, and then Scott is someone I had on Monday, but ran late. I was off schedule, and Scott had something, and then he came back on today uh, during what was supposed to be my rest time midday. Scott was was great. Like you should see Scott's office, but anyway, Scott, it's it's really a sight. Scott, uh, I got to meet in Orlando. He carried us for Vietnamese food, uh, which was great. And um, yeah, he's taken off in terms of his contracting company and what he's doing. But what what's great about Scott is he's staying true to himself along the path. Like his office has the DJ equipment, which he loves to do. And he's starting a, a podcast as well. Really hope to visit him soon and, and see that live. Scott is is a man of faith and speaks only of how you know he made it based on his faith, you know. So that that was fun. Josh Miles, who the chill guy, uh, uh, focus was definitely a major part of this conversation. Uh, the CMO, the 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 marketing world, and and all he's doing with photography, but at the same time helping others. And then Paul Levinson. No, if I'm not mistaken, Paul yeah, Paul told me he was seven to seven years old. And yeah, Professor Paul, right? Professor Paul Levinson. So Paul, this conversation was just really cool. Nonfiction writer, among so many other things, produces music, right? And yeah, his thing is like he's written a story on on what's happened with John Lennon, but again the nonfiction uh, concept he's tapped into is it's really cool while incorporating characters that are real, right? So I really enjoyed the conversation with a seventy seven year old man. Man, you could not tell. I couldn't tell the little right. Yeah, yeah, feels like an eighteen year old man. So that was that was that was super cool. And then Julie was looking at me like I was like Julie, how do I pronounce that that name? She she was a FaceTime guest, and it was as easy as removing the O. So it's Julie Getzinger, but yeah, Julie, yeah, that's a super cool conversation. Uh, FaceTime guests are always a ton of fun, right? Uh, followed by Arthur Samuel Joseph. Ooh, this is where things got interesting. So, one Arthur's Arthur's been married for fifty five years, folks. Right, probably years been accomplished, right? And he's been teaching and sharing. He's a classical vocal trained singer, and you should hear his voice. But then on the show, he gave me some techniques. I'm probably not doing it right now, right, with my voice, but in terms of breathing and, but this guy, wow, he, wow, he, he is doing, he's the guy that's behind voices, like he mentioned it on the podcast, so I, I can explain as well, but he's the guy that, that, you know, when you're going to speak to an audience of 70,000 people, Arthur is the guy who comes in to help you do that. So it was a ton of fun speaking with him. It was just a ton of fun speaking with him. 
And I had Linda Tilson played on her name here because she holds a space for men. She has the YouTube channel, the men's show. And yeah, Linda Linda is holding her space for men. It, it's still on another person, but very fun conversation. I told her, Linda, you're telling you're telling the sons, you're telling the sons. And lastly, Dr. Pauline Crawford up next. Uh got to meet Dr. Pauline in California. Very, very interesting woman. Love, 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 love her accent. So yeah, she holds a space for men as well. Coincidentally, right? I need to connect both of them together. Both Linda and Pauline. Let's see where that goes. And then Nikki. And Nikki is someone who was on the podcast in 2016. But I've seen her. I've seen her doing lives where she reads the Bible daily. It's like read the entire Bible. And yeah, Nikki, Nikki's business has really shut off in terms of success. And yeah, she credits everything to God. She doesn't mix with that. Yeah, it's, it's her signature. Left being a nurse, entered into the space of coaching helping people with their business and it's yeah it's 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 amazing to see her grow then the night ended with jordan pendleton there's the ton i was talking about jordan is absolutely amazing her gentleness and caring is absolutely past any level of an of, a, of someone i've had on the podcast there are three things that happened. I, I had, uh, first, when we started, I was late. She said, yeah, it's good. It's okay. I just put the children to sleep and it worked out well. Then we started and there was a power outage. Like one second, hit the Wi-Fi out, lost her. A guy right, from Trinidad, we said, it's nice. We'll do it twice, right? And, uh, and then... <laughs> And then, and then as I got started, guess what? The, the, um, I didn't hit record, right? So that happened. And nevertheless, it all worked out. She just kept cool. You know, she just kept cool. So had a great day today. 18 conversations, not as much as I would have liked to have it. But, you know. It's better than zero. So that's it for tonight. Have a good night, folks.